This is an LC1 court in Chebando suburb of Kampala where a number of divorce cases are handled. Even as we arrive here in Chisalo Salo Zone, LOC1, in Cheba and Okawempe, the LOC1 office is already handling cases of divorce and those people who want to, say, to separate but share property. Uh, Madam Chairperson, mm -hmm. uh, do you receive cases of, 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 of couples who want to, to, to divorce and want to share property? Yes, we get those cases, but in normally many do not want to share properties. And even you, you, even when you talk to them, the women want to stay with the, ch with the children, but he, many do not want even to look after the children when they separate. And this lady is known as Mastula Nakasozi. She was thrown out of home by her husband after seven years of an informal marriage. In their happier times, the couple acquired a number of properties. And within that separation, he couldn't allow me to share anything within a property we had. So I had to leave as I was. I did this because I was not informed at all about the divorce and marriage, anything, law, what. So I decided to leave all my things there and I went as I was, though I had two children by then. So. I saw it touching when you spend all the time working with a person, contributing, sharing each and everything in a bad situation, in a good situation, you are together. And the time, in the time of separation, you seem to be left out. According to her story, not even one relative from her husband's family was on her side. She left the union and had to carry the burden of supporting their children from a broken marriage. I've been doing some small businesses, I've been selling second-hand clothes to make them go to school, feed them, pay hospital expenses and so on. So Mastula is one of the executive members at this LC1 office in Chevando and is handling yeah. a number of cases that's needed to pass. You find someone comes, they have been staying for like 12 years and now they want to separate for some reasons, but now the husband doesn't want a wife to take even a single thing. And you know, with women, you always contribute. We go and do our work, we bring some money, we add when we want to get like land. You see, when you have children, you want to make them happy, you want to buy land and you bring your money, you add with the husband, you get that land. But if there is something, when you are going to separate, the man doesn't want you to take anything or share anything. Mastula is not alone. In fact, there are many men and women out there who are under the same circumstances and they think they need this law in place. I also met Grace Luanga who cohabited for 10 years, a period in which she was blessed with three children. Grace all along stayed in the relationship, hoping that their union would one time be legalized. She says she supported her partner to go for further studies and help him to get a good job to help her support their family. Time we separated, of course, we didn't. At first, we didn't have household items. By the time we left, we had acquired household properties, a house, and two pieces of land, and a vehicle. Actually, he remained with the vehicle even if I contributed some money, and I didn't have to to like fight for it. I let it go. The couple established an internet cafe from their joint savings. But upon separation, Grace's pleas to share the money with her ex-lover fell on deaf ears. Mm, now he controlled the money. The workers were banking all the money on his account. I didn't even have access to the money. And when you would go there, the workers would tell you we have no money. Yet they have what? Money. They tell you we've not worked since morning because they were given a directive. So it was even very difficult to access that money. Grace says she immersed herself in the relationship, but suffered immensely when it failed. She feels the marriage and divorce bill would help women with experiences like hers from being exploited. Because looking at the property we acquired together, whereby you've, you as a woman, you've really put in a lot, eh? even right from supporting him to be the kind of person you want, properties, at the end of the day, when like there is a separation, you are supposed to see how you share or even divide these properties. 
since we acquired together, I would not have said, no, this belongs to me because I'm the one who bought it. We would have sat maybe down with the guidance, and then we we'll see how we divide the property. How Grace father believes the marriage and divorce bill is important to many Ugandans who are silently nursing goods from habiting and divorce. It's a very painful issue, especially for women. Colleagues I've seen who have done, who have been in the same situation of mine, in scenarios whereby you earn the money, you agree with your husband, you put everything in his name, like in the African way, then tomorrow you are thrown out. I know a number of colleagues who have been thrown out, even the kids, you're not allowed access, even visiting rights to your children. MPs who are in support of the bill say many voters are opposed to the bill because there has not been enough sensitization and that many male MPs are influencing their voters to reject it. Nakasangula woman MP Margaret Chomhangi puts the blame on MPs who went to consult their voters with a bias against the bill. For me, like <laughs> Madame Nanduta, I have never had a problem in my marriage. Ever since I'm married, I've not even packed my bags to go home. 20 years ago, but this does not stop me from seeing what is prevailing in my communities. This does not it will stop me from seeing women who are raped by their husbands when they have just given birth. I, I witnessed a woman who lost her uterus after being raped by her husband in Rwampang. Now, if you are a man and you do not do that, it's okay. But it does not stop you from knowing that it does happen and you need to legislate to cure such mischief. The bill that has stayed on government shelves for more than 47 years seeks to consolidate the law relating to marriage and divorce and provides for marital rape, conjugal rights and duties among others. It remains to be seen whether the bill will be passed on the 2nd of April when MPs return to Parliament to present the views from their constituents. Agnes Nandutu, NTV Tonight.